Hey, what is up guys? This is Norman3000. For today, we are going to review the Leco C8 Lite. This is an extremely cheap sunglasses with audio. Notice how I categorize this as sunglasses with audio because this is extremely dumb and I'll explain later why. This is my second sunglass with audio. First being the JBL Sound Gear frames. So the unboxing is very simple. Lico is Lenovo Smart Lock brand. Let's open this up. There's a manual here and the charger, which is, oh, this is thankfully magnetic. That's good. And so this is the glasses and you have your wipes here. Here is the glasses itself. So taking a tour of the device, you have your lens here a bridge, and the nose pad, and your temple arm. Each arm has a battery, touch-sensitive button, and the speaker. Construction-wise, I would say this is okay. You can feel that this is not well-made as it is actually very light. You can't really expect much from a cheap price. Even if this is just a regular sunglasses with no audio, this is still on the cheaper side. For comparison, let's weigh in my other glasses here. So let's first test out the Leco C8. So you can see here that this is 33.9. This one, this is a regular glasses with transition lens at 30.8. This one is my 10 year old glass, 30 grams. And this is the JBL sound frames. And it's at 52.7. So comparing with my other glasses, this one is very cheap and very light. So how does it feel to wear? Since this is very light, it will not wear on your face as much as the JBL sound frames. If you are taking this out to drive, it is fine. But I do have to point out that at the very least for my experience, these lens feel extremely low quality. I constantly get nauseous within 30 minutes of wearing this. Yes, I have astigmatism. But I do wear my other sunglasses with no prescription lens. And I haven't felt this nauseous even when driving for 2 hours from Batangas to Manila. Maybe this is just me, maybe not. Similar to the JBL frames, you can swap the lens here. But the cheapest prescription lens is about 1,800 pesos or $30. That price is specifically for my eyes. If I opt for transition lens, it is about 3,400 pesos or $60. Would I really put a 3,400 pesos lens on a 600 frame? I'm not sure I would and I'm not sure you should. And so we get into the listening experience. This is now the second audio glass that I own. Let's test the audio here and the controls. For the controls, you have the same functionality for both temple arms. One short press for play or pause and one long press for voice assistant. Keep in mind that if you are not connected to the internet, the voice assistant will not work. Next song. Previous song. So for this one, I've turned off my internet. Next song.
So essentially for this one, if you don't have internet, the only control you can do is play or pause your song. As you can see here, it's extremely sensitive, so I'm picking it up. It's playing or pausing. It's kind of annoying. For the audio quality, I was not really expecting anything here, and it's actually surprisingly okay. Again, these are not meant to replace your wireless earbuds. But for the most part, for short uses like walking somewhere, walking the dogs, this is usable. At this price point, audio gears tend to bump the bass up to make it feel more premium, and it shows. There is more bass here compared to the other sound gear frames at the cost of clarity. For the volume, you can only control it through your phone. And it's about the same as the sound gear frames. But unlike my sound gear frames, which I said are best for indoor use with podcasts, the Lico S8's bassier sound signature does not make it as good for podcast listening. Of course, you can still use it for podcasts, but the dialogue-heavy content here feels just subpar. If there's one thing I can praise about this one, it's the battery. The battery life is rated at 8 hours and charge time is at about 2 hours. For a couple of days, I've left it to play videos on my phone on maximum volume and it died in about 8 hours. That is simply amazing for a cheap 600 pesos pair. I do have to point out that while I am on max volume, the copy of Silicon Valley I have has kind of a low volume. But still, 8 hours is amazing. Remember how I said that these are sunglasses with speakers? It's because they are. There's no app here, and while you do have a touch-sensitive panel on both sides, they do the same thing, which as I've shown you is either one tap to pause or long press to voice assistant. No functionality for next or previous. You also don't get an auto turn on here. You manually have to turn them on or off. While you can do volume control, next, previous by triggering voice command, you need to blurt out the command. And as sunglasses, you are probably wearing this outside. Are you really okay with randomly blurting out next, previews, max volume in public? Say maybe inside the train? The Lico S8 is also advertised as Bluetooth 5.3, but when connecting to any phone or tablet that I have, I cannot have it to show battery life. For example, for my JBL frames here, you can see that when I connect to the tablet or phone, the battery shows. For the same phone, you can see that Lico S8 is now connected to the OnePlus 7, but no battery life is shown here. I'm not really sure if I'm okay with all this compromise. On one hand, I always think that this is barely $10. I should cut them some slack. But on the other hand, how much higher could the cost have actually been if these simple features were integrated? Personally, I'm okay with shelling out more as long as the buttons have well-defined functionality and simple smart features like auto on and off. I don't even need an app. So where does this leave us with the Lico S8? Let's do a very quick pros and cons. For the pros, it is very cheap, it has great battery life, it is lightweight, and the lens can be swapped. For the cons, you have the very cheap build and limited controls bordering on useless. And you do have very low quality lens here. At about 600 pesos or $10, the Lico S8 is very interesting. If you will be using it solely as a sunglass, which you use sparingly, this is okay. It blocks the sun and gives you better audio in a pinch. As I mentioned earlier, there is potential here to be used on the daily as you can have its lens swapped out. But as I pointed out, would you be willing to spend much, much more on prescription lens on a cheaply built frame? Yes, there is potential, but should you really tap into it? Personally, I won't, but that decision is ultimately up to you. If you want to test the waters and try out audio glasses, at $10, you aren't really losing that much. Just remember, software-wise at least, with low price comes low tech. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Consider like, sharing, and subscribing if this has been useful. This has been Norman3000. See you soon, and wear your glasses.